start the recording. Okay, it's recording. Let me open the whiteboard. Share. Okay, black, okay. So we are going to start off with the derivative of e to the f of x. Basically, Today we are going to talk about the derivative of exponential function and this e to the f of x means, you know, we have seen e to the x, we have seen e to the x squared, we have seen e to the 2x plus 1. All these are functions of x. So when we are talking about something generally, we write it as f of x. Okay, is this clear? Yes. Okay. So... We are going to talk about this. All right. So uh, initially I'll be doing a proof and then we'll move on to examples. So to, today we will actually see that why the derivative of e to the x is actually e to the x. That day I just told you orally that it is like this, but this proof is going to tell us that, okay, uh, find that it is e to the x, but why is it e to the x, okay? So let's take let y equals e to the u and obviously u over here is f of x very fair so we will write u equals f of x fair enough okay now we are going to differentiate y with respect to u okay we will be differentiating this equation at both sides according to u so this would be dy by du and this would simply be e to the u okay Next step would be, uh, we need to differentiate this as well with respect to x. This would be du by dx. I'll be explaining it to you again, don't worry. And what would this be? This would simply be f dash x, okay? Perfect. Next, we need to see that dy by dx is dy by du into du by dx that is e to the u into f dash x. This is e to the f of x, f dash x. Let me write down this y over here. Okay, I'll explain to you. So we were trying to see the derivative of y equals e to the f of x. So again, so we were trying to see that what would be the derivative of a function that has exponential and in the power of exponential, we have a function that has x. Okay. So we suppose that y equals e to the u. Whenever we are proving something, we have to suppose things. Okay. All you need to do is you have to understand this proof. You don't have to memorize it. You need to understand it. Okay. So initially to prove this, we took y equals e to the u. And obviously, u is f of x. We can already see that. We are going to differentiate it with respect to u and we are going to differentiate this with respect to x, okay? This side would be dy by du. And when we are differentiating e to the u with respect to u, it would be e to the u as it is, remember? Yes. Okay. And this would be du by dx and this would be f dash x. This dash means at the moment, we are not sure what the function is. The function could be x, the function could be x squared, whatever the function is, the derivative of this function would come here. Okay, now we have these two things. But remember, we need to find the derivative of y with respect to x. Here we have derivative of y with respect to u. Here we have derivative of u with respect to x. But we need derivative of y with respect to x. We needed this. In order to get this, we hard to find these two, okay? So dy by dx would obviously be dy by du into du by dx. Do you understand this? Yes. Excellent. So this is e to the u and this is f dash x. We have simply substituted these two values and this is finally our answer. This is what we have been doing. But initially, I don't know, but um, 
at times we are just in practice of doing something and we don't know the underlying logic behind it. This was the logic. Whenever you are given with a function, with an exponential function, which has something in its power and um, you know it's a function of x. The power is a function of x. You have to write it down as it is and the derivative of this power would come here as product, okay? Two things. The exponential function would come as it is and the derivative of this would come here as it is. Is it clear? Yeah. Perfect, okay. So let's just move on. Okay, so here's a key point. Key point is that let's say y is e to the ax plus b. So dy by dx would be again e, the exponential function would come as it is, and the derivative of power that is ax plus b, the derivative of this power is going to be a. Okay, so a e to the ax plus b. Why is it a key point? You know, you told me that you had uh, issues with time management. Now, obviously, if you are given with a question like e to the 2x plus 1, you would not be writing down each and everything that e to the f of x and then f dash x, no. You simply have to do it this way. This 2 would come like this, e to the 2x plus 1. So, you know, you can learn. I would not suggest you to learn something, but, you know, when you be practicing past papers, you would naturally be um, learning a few things. Okay. Is, is this example clear? Yes. Okay. Let's talk about another example quickly. Okay. So here we have e to the 2x. So this would be very simple. e to the 2x by dx. This is going to be e to the 2x as it is and 2 would come as a product. So this would be 2 e to the x, right? This, these examples are very easy. So I hope it, it is clear. Is, is it clear? Yes. Okay. Next example is a bit tricky. I am sure it won't be for you, but if it is, obviously, I am. this is why I am here. f of x is x e to the minus 5x. Now, this is a function and you have to differentiate it. Okay. Do you have any idea about what product rule is? No? No. No, no. Okay. No problem. Okay. So here we can see one thing that it is not just exponential function, but it has something in product and that something is not a constant. That something itself is X. Okay. So in this case, we need to use the product rule of um, 4.3 and 4.4 are, I guess, our product rule and quotient rule and there we would be discussing in detail. But for this example, I would be giving you an overview okay over there we will be discussing it in detail but for this example i will discuss it okay product rule let's say you have a function f of x and g of x okay let's say that your question was um, x square into 2x plus 1 this is what you were asked to differentiate so can we just say that x square is f of x and 2x plus 1 is g of x as in these two are two functions of x, okay? Okay. Okay. So one way could be that you simply, you know, multiply it and say two into x cube plus x square and um, solve it simply, like, you know, three into two x square and that way, right? But in this case, you cannot multiply anything. You cannot solve it that way. So you need the product tool over it. The product tool says, any function could be the first function. Let's say f of x is the first function. First function would come as it is. We will write down the derivative of second function plus second function would come as it is and we will write down the derivative of first function. I'll explain it to you again. Okay. Here we have f of x equals, let's say this is, okay. Yeah. This was the question and we were asked to find out the derivative of this whole expression, right? But this whole expression cannot be simplified 
into something of this sort and we have never learned how to solve such differentiations okay so for such differentiations where you have exponential and x it could have been that, that there was x squared x cube or any function that had x in it you simply need to use the product rule the product rule says can let's say that x is the first function e to the minus 5 of x is the second function okay so f of x would come as it is first function would come as it is derivative of this function what is the derivative of this function ranjini but this will be minus 5 e to the power negative 5 x excellent okay plus and what 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 which function what, what am i going to write over here g of x will be 1 sorry oh g no no sorry uh, e to the power negative 5x excellent and what is going to come here 1 excellent this is now you have solved this okay so simply rule number you don't get into the details i will be explaining you the product rule later on just know that this is a formula which we use in order to solve differentials where you have two functions of x and which cannot be simplified like this why would we use this product rule for this function i mean we can the answer would be correct but when we can simplify it this way we don't you know feel like using the product rule but for such functions where things are complicated we cannot multiply x with the exponential function can we we cannot so we have to use the product rule here the learning was that how are you going to solve the exponential function as in how would you find its derivative and plug in into the product rule so i will be re repeating it for the last time you can have any two functions as a product this function had x and e to the minus uh, minus 5x okay and yes you you can also solve it this way you can also say that f of x is e to the minus 5x and g of x is x let's see this way so what would come here f of x what is f of x in this case sorry e to the power negative 5 excellent and what is g dash x in this case uh 1 very good and what is g of x g of x is um uh, yeah x. excellent x and what is f dash x Minus five e to the power negative five. Very well done. So you know you can see that these two answers are same. These two answers are same. So this implies that f of x and g of x are any two functions of x. You get um, the you know you have the freedom to decide which function is f of x and which function is g of x. Okay, there's no hard and fast rule. Okay, you simply need all you need to do is plug in the values. Simply you have two functions. Of x, you have to find the derivative. Okay, take f of x as x. Just write it. Just take it as h in order to avoid confusion. And g of x is e to the minus five x. Simply find f dash x. That would be one. Simply find g dash x, which would be minus five e to the minus five x, and plug in the values. Okay, and your answer would be correct. Okay, but don't worry. I would be explaining this product rule in detail when we will go to that. at the moment all you uh, had to know is that how to differentiate this exponential function i hope it is clear now okay perfect okay yeah okay product rule is done okay you so obviously if you don't know the product you you would not be knowing the quotient rule as well right okay so we i will discuss this example Let, let's solve a fast paper question this is a very interesting one so let me write it down the equation of a curve is y equals e to the 2x minus 9 e to the x plus 7x full stop find the exact value of x coordinate at 
each stationary point and determine the nature of stationary points okay so do you have any idea what a stationary point is Uh, yes, stationary point is where dy by dx is zero. Very good. Okay. And when is dy by, by dx zero? When um the curve is at a maximum or minimum point. Excellent. Like, so if this is a curve, let's say this is a stationary point and this is a stationary point. This okay. This is a stationary point. Very good. Yeah. This is maximum point. This is minimum point. Okay. So um there, what the question says. the equation of a curve is this this is a curve with this equation we have no idea about how the curve would look like because it is an equation in you know exponential functions we don't care about that find the exact value of x coordinate at each stationary point but we know that at stationary points the derivative is zero okay let's just solve this part and then we'll move to this part okay the exact value of x coordinate at each stationary point this was the y so what how would we be forming the equation okay equation so first i think you need to find dy by dx of the very good um, yeah function y excellent and let's write it down dy by dx okay so tell me what would be the derivative of this function um 2 e to the power 2x Very well done. Minus nine e to the power x. Excellent. Plus seven. Plus seven. Okay. Yeah. And we are saying that. Then it is equal to zero. Yeah, it equals to zero. And we are asked to find the exact value. So, but how are we going to find the exact value? I mean, would we take? Oh, you can say um e to the power x is zero or. some value and very then, good excellent and yeah very well done so yeah we can either take um, e to the x as u or we can simply you know we can see that here we need two numbers such that their product is 14 e to the 2x and if we add subtract them our answer is minus 9 e to the x and one thing which we know is e to the x into the e, uh, into e to the x would be e to the 2x okay this is what we know all right so it is very obvious 2 and 7 are the two numbers 2 e to the 2x okay so it should be okay yeah. minus 2 e to the x minus 7 e to the x plus 7 equals 0 yep and 2 e to the x e to the x Minus one, minus seven, e to the x minus one equals zero. Two e to the x minus seven, e to the x minus oh sorry minus one. Okay, this is zero. Okay, now two e to the x minus seven is zero. Or e to the x minus one is zero, and the answer would be two e to the x is seven e to the x seven by two. And you know what would be what we'll do after this step? In order to find the exact value of x, ah, uh, you have to take a uh, ln. Excellent. We'll take natural log on both sides, so this would be resolved. So e will be yeah. cancelled. Yeah, e and natural log will be cancelled. X equals natural log seven by two, and the other one would be zero. Very good. X is zero. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Okay. So this is and zero. Okay. So these are the um, x coordinates of the stationary point. Right. The second part says and determine. Oops. Okay. 
the second part says and determine the nature of tertiary point now what do they mean by by the nature so i think they mean that whether it's a maximum or a minimum point excellent so and how do we take the second that? derivative okay okay and then let's let's just let's just first take the second derivative and then talk about um d square by by d x square equals okay so what would be the second derivative in this case this is going to be four e to the power two x yes minus um nine e to the power x excellent very good um just give me a second hmm. Need to confirm something. Okay, yeah. Yes, perfect. Okay, and now um, you said that okay, we need to take the derivative, and what are we going to do? We are going to. We need to see if. Okay, but what do they mean by nature of tertiary point? That this is either maximum or minimum, right? Yes. Okay. This will be a minimum point. This this is which which one would be minimum point? We have two points. We have two x coordinates. Two x coordinates mean we would have two y's, and hence we will be having two points. So let's talk about x to the zero first. This is a simple one, okay? So four e to the two zero minus nine e to the zero. This is going to be four minus nine. That is minus five. The answer is negative. Minus five. Yeah. So this will be a maximum. Excellent. But why would it be the maximum point? Do you know that? Do you know the reason behind this concept? No, I just know if it's negative, it's maximum, okay. and if it's positive, um, it's minimum. I explain you this concept because you know this is one of the basic concepts in mathematics, and we should know that. Okay. And simply, uh, if I solve it for the other one, four. E to the two ln seven by two minus nine e to the ln seven by two. So what? Well, how are we going to solve this, um, Ranjini? No calculator. <laughs> you simply uh, obviously you can use a calculator, but this two would come over here as a power. You know that, right? Yes. So this would be cancelled, and this is going to be minus nine into seven by two. This is going to be four into forty nine by four minus sixty three by two. Four and four would be cancelled, and the answer would be positive. And this is going to be a minimum point. So we know if our second derivative is negative, the curve is the the, the stationary point is maxima or maximum. And if the second derivative is positive, the tertiary point would be a minimum point. Okay, agreed. But let's see why is it. So I'll just take five minutes because it is something we which I think you should know. Yes, let's consider a simple example. Okay, let's take this as an example. Okay, this point. This is why. This is x, hmm. and here I'm going to plot another graph of dy by dx and x. So you can see that here the derivative is. What has happened to the derivative over here? Decreasing. Yeah, it is decreasing. And what is happening over here? increasing increasing so what does it mean that the negative gradient is basically you know going to zero and eventually it is becoming positive right yes okay so this would mean that the look here is the derivative okay derivative is negative and 
it is becoming positive and it was zero at a point okay this is the derivative remember that concept i explained you that day when um, you know i had i when i made two graphs one was of the y function and the other one was of the derivative function yes hmm okay uh, is it clear till yes, now it's clear. i have explained that this is a curve the derivative is negative it is becoming zero and then it is um, becoming positive or increasing and this is what this graph tells right derivative is negative these values are negative dy by dx and these values are positive dy by dx and this is zero fair enough and if we talk about d square y dx square that is the second derivative i am not going to plot the graph but the derivative of this line is clearly positive we know that right it is going upwards so it has a positive uh, it has a positive derivative and this positive derivative meant this minimum point okay now yes i, I got it you got it okay so yes. uh, it basically the concept behind it was that the derivative is negative from negative it is becoming zero and from zero it is becoming positive so this is why we consider um, positive second derivative as minimum point and negative second derivative as positive uh, as uh, maximum point sorry yeah okay is it clear now yeah okay now i am going to yeah we have 30 more minutes okay i'll i i have a last example for exponential function i really want to do it okay so the example is um let's say don't get confused with this h of x f of x g of x okay This h of x okay. simply means a function of x. That's it. Nothing else. Then I am using h of x over here because of reason. Because we'll be needing g of x and f of x ahead. Three x divided by x squared. Now this is a question. And what if I ask you to um, derivate it? How would you uh, attempt it, Ranjini? Any idea? Oh uh, yes, I would do e to the power three x. Times x to the power negative two, and I would do Excellent. the f of x times. Excellent. Two. Very well. Very well done. Perfect. Yes, you are hundred percent correct. Either you can um, rewrite the question as this, and use the product rule, okay, or you can simply use the quotient rule. The quotient rule. Quotient. Sorry. Quotient rule. Okay, so the the quotient rule says if you are to derivate something that is of the form f of x divided by g of x, you are going to write it as g of x f dash x minus f of x g dash x divided by g of x square. Okay. Okay, Ranjini, product rule. I told you that any of the two functions, like this, could have been f, this could have been g, this could have been g, this could have been f. Okay, fair enough. But if you use the quotient rule for this function, what would be f and what would be g? Thanks. Sorry. You can choose um. e to the power three x is f of x, or you can choose x to the power negative two is f of x. It can be anything, right? Okay. It could have been anything if we were talking about the product rule. Here, this is quotient rule. When you're talking about a fraction, you have to be sure that if something is numerator, that is f of x, and if something is in denominator, it is g of x. Okay, because you know this way everything would go wrong. This is the basic structure of the question. Here you were asked to differentiate this question, right? In this question, this is the numerator, this is the denominator, and the formula for quotient rule, which you have been told is that you have two functions, and it is a fraction. So 
the denominator would come as it is the derivative of numerator would come uh, next to this one then you have to put a minus sign then this would then the numerator would come as it is and then the derivative of the denominator would come over here and then you have to divide this whole thing with the square of the denominator function okay so the quotient rule is complicated if you compare it with the product rule but all you need to know is you have to learn this formula and you are good to go you have to learn this formula and once you have learned this formula now you will tell me how uh, i am going to substitute values using um, this function and these values okay so first question is what is f of x f of x is um, e to the power 3x very good and what is g of x g of x is um x square very good and what else do we need to use in this formula f dash x and g dash x only dash these x. two things so we'll simply yeah, calculate f dash x is 3 e to the power 3x very good and g dash x g is 2x excellent so we'll quickly substitute all the values x square 3 e to the 3x minus e to the 3x 2x divided by what are we going to write over here square whole square like so it will be x to the power four very good so you know again another tip um you are someone who is not that good at time management this is what you told me and you do silly mistake so you can learn the formula and you have to learn this formula okay there's no proof for this formula you have to learn this formula so you will write down the question you will write down the formula now you have to see okay i need this i need this i need this i need this you will simply see okay i have f of x as this u of x as this and you have to write down the derivatives and then simply plug in into the formula okay is it clear yes perfect okay now let's so are we supposed to simplify it further yeah sure oh, yeah yes 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 we are going to simplify it definitely okay so this would be um let's take it as common e to the 3x and x can be taken common but we would be left with x 3x minus 2 divided by x to the 4 we can cut it this would be 3x 3x minus 2 divided by x cube okay this is how you have to simplify it right yes okay is it clear are you sure yes it's clear yeah. perfect okay we have 25 more minutes and we have to complete the natural law okay now let's talk about the derivatives of ln x okay so again uh, we will be using the same format first we have to discuss that proof where we substituted u and we did that um, substitution and finally proof and then we will discuss some questions as well okay so this is that okay so let's take y equals ln f of x and this is f of just a second the derivative of ln f of x again f of x why because this natural log can have any function of x okay we don't know it could be x square it could be x it could be anything so y equals l n u this is our substitution obviously where u is f of x simply the way we did it in the in case of exponential what would be the next step the next step will be d y by d u 
Excellent. I mean, dy by dx. Dy. Okay. Listen. We need yeah. dy by dx. We need dy by dx. Fair enough. But here we have f of x. So we cannot, you know, directly say anything about this function. We need to make substitutions, and then eventually we'll be finding out dy by dx by using dy by du and du by dx. This is a trick. Okay. We need to find dy by dx, but since this is a general function, for general functions we can never ever write down the derivative as it is. So we have to make some substitutions, find the values of dy by du, du by dx, plug them here, and then we have to write down the value of dy by dx. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. So this is going to be simply. What? What do you know how to solve the natural log derivative? Um. No. Okay. So basically, in case of natural logs, what we are studying over here, this function would come here as it is, and the derivative of this function would come here, which is one. Okay. So by the end, you see, we'll actually be proving this thing. Derivative the, of ln is one. The derivative of ln u is one by u. Why? This function, this function would come in the denominator as it is, and the derivative of this denominator would come over here in the numerator. So u, the derivative of u is one, right? The derivative of x is one, right? So the derivative of u is one. Is it clear? Can you please explain how it's one? I still didn't understand. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you. Okay. So what if I say y equals x dy by dx would be okay one. So this is how it is like this. This is a rule for natural law. Do you understand the rule that this this thing this thing would come in the new denominator as it is. We had u, u came here as it is, and the derivative of this function or this function, which are same, is going to come over here. And this case, the derivative of u is one, like the derivative of x is one. Don't look at this ln over here. We are simply putting the derivative of this function. We are differentiating this function with respect to u. You know the way the derivative of x is one. What if I write okay? So what if I write y equals u? What would be the derivative in this case? One. One. This is what it is. Consider okay. consider it as a function. And the derivative of this function would come here, and this is what we are basically trying to prove. These proofs are a little complicated, but this is how you prove them. When you are when we prove something, we cannot question the fact that why are we doing it. This is how the proof it. So this is how the proof is. But we'll end up at something. Then I'll relate to it. Okay. Okay. So uh, we are done with dy by du, and what are we left with? What is the next thing which we have to prove? du by dx excellent du by dx so what would this this is the derivative of this side and what would what is the derivative of this side with respect to x f dash of x excellent very well done so dy by dx would be dy by du into du by dx dy by du is 1 by u i will be explaining this again don't you worry into f dash x and this u what was this u can you find this u somewhere yes. up there yeah u is uh, f of x excellent f dash x okay look look this is what i tried explaining you over here whenever you are asked to derivate natural log and the natural log has a function of x in it you simply need to you all you need to remember is this 
you will write down this function this function as it is in the denominator okay and you have to differentiate this function it could be x square it could be 2x plus 3 it could be anything we will be discussing some examples and the derivative would come in the numerator so this is basically f dash x over f of x this is what we have done here as well we had this u in the in place of function so we wrote it as it is in the numerator and the denominator and the derivative of this function is 1 so this one came here right yes i think it's confusing you it's still confusing is it confusing? no no it's fine it's fine okay honestly speaking these proofs are like that you don't need to learn something memorize something just go with this formula you need to learn this formula only okay and this was just for completeness because i was following a book and that book had this and these proofs are very common in bachelor so if you plan on doing bs math you will get to see them a lot but they are not difficult at times we think like okay this is what we had to prove but why is it here this is how things work in maths okay so the only learning here is this that's it that if you are given a natural log with a function and you have been asked to derivate it you have to do it this way okay we we'll, let's just quickly look at the examples and then we'll get a better idea okay now we have enough time right so example 1 ln ax plus b this is just like the key point we did in case of the exponential function and there it was um, you know e to the ax plus b and the derivative of that is a into e to the ax plus b so these key points are just um, so you can solve questions quickly okay okay so we have to um, derivate it we don't know how to derivate derivate it okay so we will just write down it like this and derivative of this with respect to x is nothing but a fraction where the denominator is this where the denominator is this function as it is and the numerator is the derivative of this function so see when we are differentiating natural log uh, the derivative in the derivative we have no natural log natural log is gone all we are left is with the function and its derivative that's it and this is how we do it okay okay so this is the formula right this is the formula which we have learned but this was the question so what is f of x in this case f of x is ax plus b or ln of a yeah no look okay, ln into f of x this was the formula right if we compare these yes. two ln ln is same this is the difference right so f of x is the function which we have after ln this is the difference okay okay so obviously we have to um, differentiate this and this is the formula so we have f of x what else we uh, do we need to find dash of x very good f dash of x is simply a 1 by ax plus b on Yeah, yeah. Look, in this case, it's a. The der okay. the derivative of f of x is a in this case, right? Yes. Okay. So the answer would be a over a x plus b. Is it clear? Yeah. We're not supposed to do one by a x plus b times. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. in that example we were talking about u okay in that example f of u was u okay now think of it the derivative of this would be um f dash u divided by f of u so f of u is u right and the derivative of u is 1 so in that question Okay. Yeah, I I got it. Yeah, just think of it like this. Just think of it as if you had 
x as f of x. So in that case, your answer would be one by x. But here we had a x plus b. So the derivative of a x plus b would come here, and a x plus b would come here directly. Okay, I'll explain it to you again. No, I I got it. Are you sure? Yes. Because you know this is what I'm here for. You can ask me honestly. I don't. I would not mind that. And I I got it. Okay. Okay. Now let's try solving a good example. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Example two. Ln the root of x. Okay, so we have to okay. step number one. We don't know how to solve it fair enough. We are going to follow each and every step. D d by x. So we have been asked to let's just assume that we have the question. Derry weight the function. Okay. Function and this is the function f of x. No, don't use f of x. Use g of x. G of x equals this. And we have a question in the exam which says that we have to derivate it. Okay, so we will write down g of x equals basically d by e x ln under root. Five minus x. Okay. So, what is the format? What is the format? How do we um, solve or how do we derivate natural log questions? The format was simply we write down g of x in the denominator, as in if we had a second. Okay, so the format was that this is going to come here as it is, and the derivative would be here. Okay, this was the format, and this is the question to be solved. So let's go further. We are not going to solve it directly. We will first, you know, take x natural log. Five minus x, one by two. Okay, I've written this one by two in order to solve um, this. Yeah. So this is f of x. What is f of x in this case? F of x is uh, five minus x to the power one by two. I hope this h of x, g of x, and f of x is not confusing you. Uh, no, it's fine. Yeah, because these are just random functions we are using. For making this question easier, okay? You could have written nothing. You could have solved it directly. It's just to make it easy. It's just because this is what we know. L n for a question of this type, we know that this comes as it is, and this comes in the derivative in, in the numerator. Yeah, this is the. Format and here our h of x is this and h dash of x is what is h dash of x in this case? Do you know that? Yes. Hmm. So you can take five minus x as u. Okay, and 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 then you can just um you know yeah um, I understand. Okay, mm -hmm. so I take this as u, and then I will multiply the derivative, and then I'll. Okay. You will get uh, one by two u to the power negative one by two. Very good. And what about the and derivative? Then to, yeah, then you have to do derivative of this, so it will be negative one. Excellent. So, and then you have to substitute uh, 5 minus x in the u. Very good. This, right? This would be our answer. Yeah, perfect. 
Yeah. So now we are done. We had to find this and this. We are already already done with these two things. So the answer would be the answer would be minus one by two five minus x minus one by two divided by five minus x one by two. Now this answer is not simplified yet. Okay. In order to simplify it, we can take this in the denominator, right? Yes, you can. And what would it become? One when it will be taken to the denominator, we would have five minus x one by two. Five minus x one by. So it will just be five minus. Very good. X. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Except yes. So. This is how we are going to solve it. And we had a negative over here. This is the answer. Yes. Okay. Yes. So not to worry about. All we know is if we are given with a natural log. And it has something of um, x type. It could be x squared. It could be anything. And we have been asked to differentiate it. This is the formula. Take this function in the denominator as it is, find the derivative of this and write it down in the numerator. This is the rule, okay? So first we have to write down the basic formula. We have to see what, what is h of x or what is f of x, whatever you feel like um, taking. Then we have to see the, um, find the derivative of this function and simply substitute them and this is the answer, okay? We just have six more minutes. You have a class at right um uh nine forty five. Okay, okay. Last class. I, not today. Not today. Okay. What we should be in practice of binding up things. Uh, what is that? Obviously, I can explain you more if you feel like if you are free. Okay, you can ask me. One hour does not mean it's one hour. I mean it is um it is for you. But if you want to ask me something, you, you still can. Okay, don't worry about the timings and things like those. I, uh, obviously, if you're free, if you have a class, uh, if you have any other commitment, then you have to go. I understand that. 2x divided by x cubed. Okay, now, again, how are you going to attend this question? And you, you have been asked to differentiate both sides with respect to x. Okay, this is the question. You have to use the quotient rule. Excellent. Very good. And how are you going to use the quotient rule? What was the quotient rule, by the way? Quotient rule was, um, yeah, g of x, f dash of x, minus f of x, g dash of x, divided by g of x, the whole square. Excellent. So this function, the denominator would come here, derivative minus. The product rule had plus. This has minus. You can remember this by you know this line. So this is fraction minus. This is just something to you know a remembering tip because I always mix this minus and plus. F of x, g dash of x divided by gx whole square, okay? Right? Yes. Okay. And now step two is, okay, step one, formula. Step two, what is f of x? And what is g of x? f of x is, um, f of x is, 2x. Just a second. Now tell me. F of x is 2x. Look. At the moment, we are not talking about how to differentiate the natural log. We'll come to that, but here we are first resolving functions for the quotient rule. 
So in the question two, and it will be L N of two X. Excellent, excellent. Okay. And what is G of X? G of X will be X Q. Very good. Now we have to talk about F dash of X. Now here, you will tell me what would be the derivative of this function. Okay, so uh, D D by X L N to X and the formula said okay so this is what we have already learned that if you have been asked to find the derivative of a natural log function, derivative of this thing would come here and would be divided by the function as it is, okay? So again, look, things are like over here. Just consider this. So what would be um, h of x? x will be Um, look inside yeah. the, the thing which is inside Ellen. Will be two two x okay. Yeah, two, x. two x and h dash of x would be two. I I'll wait. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay if this is confusing you because this is the first time you have seen the quotient rule, the product rule how to solve natural law. So I will send you a few practice questions, not too many, just two to three, and you'll practice them and then you'll see that, okay. Um, here, we were talking about the quotient rule. Now, once we were, were done with f of x, q of x, we had to find the derivative of this function because we this function required this f dash of x. In order to find f dash of x, we had to basically derivate this natural log function. Whenever we are derivating natural log function, this function comes in the denominator and in the numerator, its derivative comes, okay? So this would be two by two X and this is going to be one by X, okay? okay. And G dash of X would be three X square, right? This was G of X, three X square. Okay. Yeah. And next we are simply going to just substitute all the values. Okay. So I will not uh, spend time on that. I would like to explain this again, just so we are clear. Okay. Substitution and simplifying is what you have been doing, but this is new. Okay. Look, this was the question. This was the question. You were asked to derivate a fraction. Okay. Fraction? Fair enough. Quotient rule. This is the quotient rule. Quotient rule says you have a function in numerator, you have a function in denominator. The function in denominator would come here as it is and you have to find the derivative of the numerator, subtract it, numerator, derivative of the denominator and so on. Okay. So derivative of a fraction, step one to write down the quotient rule and step two to find out this g of x, this f dash, this f, and this g dash. And this was very easy. You had this fraction, you had this in front of you. So f of x was ln 2x and g of x was x cubed. And simply, um, step three was to find out the derivatives, right? So f dash x, this is what we have discussed today. Derivative of natural log is what what? This function, the function in natural log would come as it is in the denominator and the derivative of this denominator would come in. So this is one by X. And simply um, we, ha we had X cubed as G of X. So G dash of X was three X squared. Okay, and once we have all these values, we simply have to substitute them in the question. Okay, is it clear? I I'm sure that you would be confused. Badly confused. I, I know that. Just because of this F, G, H, everywhere, I, I know that you are confused. 
okay i i'll summarize it quickly so you were asked to find out the derivative of a function which of which was in this form okay so you'll simply apply the quotient rule quotient rule applied fair enough now if you had f dash x and g dash x okay now if this s x itself was a natural log function so obviously for the derivative of f of x dx that is the derivative of h of x over x it is going to be this is h of x h dash x divided by h x is it okay yes it's fine so don't uh, i i'll send you a few questions from the book i'm using and i do you have a soft copy of your book oh uh, yeah are you sure you I have do. it yes okay so please share that on the group as well just so i can pick up examples from there i was also following uh, an a level pure maths book but because at that time i did not knew the name of your book i did not know the name of your book so i had to you know um, search up for myself so i'll be sending you would would you be able to do two to three questions today tomorrow yes, but but before you know tomorrow's class just so if you have any confusion you can discuss that on whatsapp to save time and i can prepare the solution or i can directly whatsapp it to you you know because uh, okay. you have to practice this question this practicing is very important okay so i okay. i'll give you four yes i'll give you four and you can practice more from your book as well okay, okay. perfect so uh, is everything clear for today yes it's fine are you 100% sure yeah it's it's fine okay so i'll uh, share um, four questions in an hour or so uh, you can do them today you can do them tomorrow but please do them before um, tomorrow's class and then yeah. if you find any difficulties in those questions we can discuss them on whatsapp or um, in the first 5 to 10 minutes of tomorrow's class okay perfect okay so should i end the like um this now should i end the class yeah oh uh, yeah yeah okay take care bye bye yeah bye